What is going on, Coaster Spotters? We are back for yet another pull through construction update. This is construction update number six. It is September 19th, and as we can see, they are now on the vertical drop. This is absolutely fantastic to see it dangling like that at nearly 90 degrees. Okay, let's take a look around. straight on with the vertical drop oh my goodness that's gonna be insane oh wait is that a corkscrew is it elongated uh 20 10 after three, three after. after that's fine jpl rule A bunch of the rigging around so it's not gonna move anytime soon. We'll check in one more time. There you go, we're back. It's September 21st and they're uh, back at it today, skipping yesterday, Sunday. with a pin wheel like tail. He might catch a fish where it spins like a sail. He might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly. All right, it is September 22nd, so we are a little bit further in the progress today. They didn't do much yesterday because of the high winds. So we'll just show you how they progress over the rest of the day. And uh, this, this update has morphed into just a multiple day update because I didn't really want to put out a bunch of updates anymore. So. Tomorrow, we will have the final update that will show the surrounding area as it differs from, you know, a week ago. I'm adjusting a bunch of the rigging straps. For the last few days, the straps have all been to make sure it doesn't fall back down the front side of the top hat. Now they're actually rigging it up, so since they're almost at that equilibrium point of where it's going to start to fall down the front side of the top hat. Now they're rigging it so once it gets over that front side, that gray strap, we're actually going to hold it in place once they get to the, the, the other side of the top hat. So if you don't know, I am also doing a bunch of full park tours. They will be up Within the month, I'm voicing them all over, so they're going to be a lot of production work, but we're going to do full tours of every section of both parks and City Walk to show you everything from the carts to the restrooms to, to the coasters. Everything is going to be covered for the most part. So every time they move it, they actually have to put a strap on, so it only moves so much when they're using the crane. So there's two ways that it's being held that for nothing ever goes wrong and it goes flying down the track. Now you're wondering why are they checking the clearance on the top hat? Obviously there's nothing to hit up there. Well, it's, it's more than just the clearance. It's also to make sure none of the, wheel, the wheels or the chassis is hitting anything on the track just to make sure everything's perfectly fine because you could destroy either the car or you, even worse, you could really damage the track. So it's uh, a lot easier to go through this progress than to 
um, you know, have something catastrophic happen. Again, at this point, the crane is actually not lifting it over the top. Him cranking it is what is lifting it over the top. The crane is actually insisting in making sure it doesn't go too fast over the top towards the uh, construction worker. And as you can see, his winch is getting very close to the end. So at that point, they're going to have to re-rig. And at that point, I'm going over to studios. All right, it is 10 a.m. We'll be back to check out the progress in about four or five hours. It's now seven hours later. I spent all day at studios filming that tour that I've been uh, trying to gather together. Still not done, but uh, close to it. But look, they're all over the top and way down. Let's go right over by the water's edge over by Popeye and uh, take a close look. difference here uh, I don't know what it is I'm sure they've done a lot to all these areas but uh just moving along I think that wall right there is new I mean there's still so much more that's gonna be going into this thing it's incredible I, yeah man I wish I was uh living down here so I could watch it continue but uh probably won't be back down for uh, a few months all right, it is the 23rd, and we're going to see if we can see much of a difference. I don't think we really are going to, but uh, we'll check out the Jurassic Park area, see if we can spot that car. It's now down the launch tube, so we won't be able to even spot it and uh, wrap it up for this uh, multi-day review because no one needed a bunch of different updates when uh, this process took basically a week to uh, go through the second part of the course. so we can really get in there. Let's zoom into some of that stuff. Oh my God, in there is the coaster car. Wow, they pulled it through a lot, I think. I can't remember in the layout where that is. That, that's fun. I think that's like as far as they can go for a little while until they finish their rock work.
As you can see, nothing really exciting is going on right now. They're literally moving their trash bin right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, it's been really fun watching it for the last week. It was really exciting to see that uh, test vehicle go. Oh, look at that. It's a different test vehicle. Oh, I, I thought that. Okay, that makes sense. I thought they got through the, uh, the launch tunnel really fast. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot more sense now. There's two of them on track. Okay. All right, then. Let's head over to the back deck of Mythos and wrap this one up. Hey, look at that, they're doing something exciting. Sweet! Putting some structure around what is believed to be the entrance to the ride. That big opening on the front side of that building right next to the Discovery Center. There you go, you can see there's already a bunch of them in place. Looks like a, a raptor fence of, or a containment fence basically that it gains them one. Thank you so much for watching The Coaster Spot. This has been Alex. We will be back in uh, December, so in about, about two and a half months or so. So, uh, man, there should be a lot of progress by then. By then, I, I will assume that we will see a lot of uh, trees have been planted by then. Yeah, so uh, this, this has been Alex. As I said, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you hopefully in December. Bye.